Are you ready to kick fatigue in the face using essential oils? So this is a recipe that I have used with success over and over again to help give myself some extra energy and a lot of others have used this with success as well. Um, and so I would like to walk you through this recipe for fatigue using essential oils. Um, a couple of things first to keep in mind is that essential oils can be a tool to help with fatigue or an afternoon slump, but chronic fatigue is another issue that needs more tools than essential oils to remedy. So some things to consider if you are dealing with fatigue is to ask yourself, am I getting enough sleep? Am I taking vitamins? Are the meals that I'm choosing nutritious? Am I getting regular, regular exercise? Am I stressed? Am I depressed? So this is just one of the formulations that I've created for fatigue best, based on the best circulatory and nervous stimulant essential oils to help you feel energized. And this is available for free as a download if you go to my website, leahjacobson.com slash kickfatigue. But I'm going to actually walk you through it right now so you don't have to go anywhere. So just a couple of disclaimers, this recipe, although effective, is not intended to be used instead of getting professional help or to replace medicine that you are already taking. Do not substitute any other essential oil for the ones I'm about to share with you. So run it by me first, check it first, as it may interfere with the safety, efficacy, and ultimately your results. So let's dive in. This is the Kick It in the face fatigue recipe or kick fatigue in the face and this is a personal inhaler recipe for those of you watching my youtube um you can see the video or if you go to my podcast page leahjacobson.com podcast i'm actually holding up a personal inhaler right now that you can use to add these essential oils to which includes a wick that you are going to add the essential oils to and it's in a glass vial. You have the nose piece with the holes in it so you can inhale these essential oils. And it's a really great tool that you can use to bring your essentials, essential oils with you on the go. You can slip it in your pocket, you can stash it in your purse. And this is an amazing effective way to inhale your essential oils, even more effective than using a diffuser. So the three essential oils that you are going to need for this recipe is coffee essential oil, peppermint essential oil, and vanilla essential oil. So you are going to use eight drops of coffee, four drops of peppermint, and three drops of vanilla. And yes, it smells amazing. It smells like a mocha latte. It is absolutely fabulous, and it will really help with getting your brain going, getting your energy levels up but this is not safe for everyone. So although most of us can use this recipe and these essential oils with great success and no issues, there are a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, due to the peppermint essential oil in this recipe, it is only safe for ages six and up. These essential oils are safe for use during pregnancy. These essential oils are safe for use during breastfeeding. However, there are some moms that have reported a temporary decrease in milk supply. So something to keep in mind. And this recipe is safe to use around dogs. This isn't a fatigue for your dog or anti-fatigue for your dog recipe, but these essential oils are totally fine for your dog to inhale. So who it's not safe for are going to be children under six years old, the first trimester of pregnancy, which is just your standard disclaimer. It's not intended for inhalation exposure or topical use if breastfeeding and you're sensitive to peppermint essential oil or even herbal teas or candies as it may cause reduced milk supply in some women as mentioned. Because of the peppermint, this recipe would not be safe for anyone with G6PD deficiency or cardiac fibrillation and never use essential oils around your cats. So that is the recipe. Again, you can download it absolutely free at leahjacobson.com slash kickfatigue. And I would be really excited to hear if you've used this recipe and how it has worked for you. Now, we are inside the club this week talking 
all about peppermint essential oil. So if you have peppermint essential oil, and I think most of us do, and you are looking for even more ways to use it, then I invite you to join us inside the club this week, and we are going to dive deep and talk about all of the things and all of the ways that peppermint essential oil is amazing when you inhale it and is amazing when you use it topically. And inside the club, we have recipes for all sorts of things. I actually have two other formulations for fatigue, as well as two other ways to use this specific formulation. So I highly encourage you to invite us inside the club. And I would be really excited to hear any feedback that you have about this recipe and answer all of your questions. So I will talk to you soon. Thanks.